Imagine a time when rock and roll was young, when drive-in movies were the weekend highlight, and when style was as much about what you drove as what you wore. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1950s. The 1950s, an era of poodle skirts and pompadours, of soda shops and sock hops. But beyond the jukeboxes and the jitterbug, this was a time when America's love affair with the automobile was in full bloom. The Second World War had ended, the economy was booming, and the open road was calling. The 1950s was the dawn of car culture, a time when the automobile was not just a means of transportation, but a symbol of freedom, status, and personal expression. This was an age when chrome was king and bigger was better, when tail fins pointed to the sky and the sound of a revving engine was music to the ears. The cars of the 1950s were bold and beautiful, reflecting the optimism and innovation of the time. They were works of art on wheels, their sleek lines and vibrant colors catching the eye and capturing the heart. But it wasn't just about the looks. Underneath the gleaming hood, something powerful was stirring. As the decade progressed, so did technology, and the engines became more potent. High-performance V8 engines began to find their way into the engine bays of these stylish machines, giving birth to a new breed of automobile, the muscle car. The muscle car was more than just a fast car. It was a statement, a rebellion against the mundane. It was the embodiment of the American dream, powerful, bold, and unapologetically loud. And as rock and roll provided the soundtrack of the era, the roar of the muscle car was the heartbeat. The 1950s was a time of change and growth, a time of confidence and creativity. It was a time when the automobile was at the center of it all, shaping and reflecting the spirit of the era. And at the heart of this automotive revolution was the muscle car, a symbol of power and freedom that has left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Now that we have taken a step back in time, let's rev up those engines and take a closer look at the muscle cars that ruled the roads of the 1950s. In the heart of the 1950s, amidst the rock and roll and the sock hops, a new breed of automobile was born, the muscle car. Indeed, the 1950s were a time of great innovation, and on the automotive scene, that innovation took the form of power and style. The muscle car, a high-performance automobile with a large, powerful engine and a lightweight body, roared onto the scene and captured the hearts of Americans coast to coast. One of the first muscle cars to make a mark was the Oldsmobile Rocket 88. Introduced in 1950, this beauty was a sight to behold. But it wasn't just about looks. Underneath the hood of the Rocket 88 was a powerful V8 engine. This engine was a beast with horsepower that left the competition in the dust. The Rocket 88 was more than a car, it was a statement. A statement that power and elegance could coexist in a single stunning package. Not to be outdone, Chrysler entered the game with their own muscle car, the Chrysler C300. Introduced in 1955, the C300 was a marvel of engineering. It boasted a Hemivi 8 engine, a legendary powerhouse that set the standard for muscle car performance. The C300 was not just a car, it was a symbol of power, speed, and the spirit of American innovation. These early muscle cars were not just about power and speed. They were about style. They were sleek, streamlined, and undeniably cool. They captured the spirit of the 1950s, a time of optimism, progress, and the promise of the open road. But most of all, these early muscle cars were about dreams. Dreams of freedom, of adventure, and of the thrill of the open road. They were dreams made real, in steel and chrome and the roar of a powerful engine. These powerful machines were just the beginning, setting the stage for a decade of high-octane competition and innovation. As the decade progressed, the muscle car trend exploded. Manufacturers competed fiercely, each trying to outdo the others with more power, more style, and more speed. It was a time when the American auto industry was in its prime, and it was a time of great innovation and creativity. The Chevrolet Impala and the Ford Thunderbird were two of the most iconic models that emerged during this period. These weren't just cars, they were statements of style, power, and a new way of life. Introduced in the late 50s, the Impala was Chevrolet's top-of-the-line model. It boasted a streamlined design, a powerful V8 engine, and a roomy interior that could comfortably seat six. On the other hand, the Thunderbird, 
Ford's answer to the Chevrolet Corvette was a true roadster. With its sleek design and powerful engine, it quickly became a favorite among car enthusiasts. As the popularity of these cars grew, so did their cultural significance. They were featured in movies, songs, and television shows, becoming symbols of the era's rebellious spirit and love for speed. They were the embodiment of the American dream, a dream of freedom, power, and the open road. In a time when most cars were boxy and practical, these muscle cars stood out with their sleek lines, chrome accents, and roaring engines. They were built for speed and designed to turn heads. And turn heads they did, not just on the streets but also on the racetrack. Muscle cars dominated drag racing, a popular sport in the 50s with their raw power and high performance capabilities. The golden age of muscle cars was an era of innovation, competition, and cultural change. It was a time when manufacturers pushed the limits of what was possible, creating cars that were more than just transportation. They were a statement, a lifestyle, a dream. These cars weren't just machines, they were symbols of freedom, power, and the American dream. As the 1950s came to a close, the muscle car era was just getting started. The legacy of these iconic vehicles continues to influence car culture today. The influence of the 1950s muscle cars on modern vehicle design is undeniable. From the sleek lines to the powerful engines, these vehicles introduced a new standard of automotive excellence that continues to inspire designers to this day. The muscle car's distinctive aesthetic, characterized by broad shoulders, low-slung bodies, and audacious chrome detailing, has been echoed in countless contemporary car designs. But it's not just the physical design of these vehicles that left an indelible mark on the automotive world. The spirit of innovation and performance that defined the muscle car era continues to drive the industry forward. These cars represented a shift in the way we thought about vehicles, not just as means of transportation, but as symbols of personal freedom and expressions of individuality. The cultural impact of the 1950s muscle cars reaches far beyond the automotive industry. They've become iconic symbols in popular culture, immortalized in film, music, and art. From the rebellious spirit of James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause, to the nostalgic allure of the Beach Boys' Little Deuce Coupe, these cars have come to represent a certain kind of Americana, a love for speed, power, and the open road. Today, these cars are highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts, their value only increasing with time. Each one tells a story of late night drag races, of summer road trips, of a time when all you needed was a full tank of gas and an open road. These vehicles with their roaring engines and gleaming chrome are more than just cars. They're a testament to a bygone era, a symbol of America's love affair with the open road, and a tribute to the innovative spirit that continues to drive us forward. From the roar of their engines to the gleam of their chrome, the muscle cars of the 1950s will forever hold a special place in automotive history. As we cruise down memory lane, it's clear that the 1950s were a golden era for muscle cars. They weren't just vehicles, they were symbols of a time when innovation, design, and raw power converged to create machines that were as much a feast for the eyes as they were a thrill to drive. The birth of these automotive titans in the 1950s was a testament to the spirit of that era, a spirit of freedom, adventure, and unapologetic boldness. The key models we discussed, like the Chevrolet Bel Air and the Oldsmobile Rocket 88, were more than just cars. They were the embodiment of a culture and a lifestyle. With their powerful engines, sleek designs, and groundbreaking features, these muscle cars set the roads ablaze, leaving an indelible mark on the automotive industry and popular culture. Their cultural impact was profound. They were the stars of the silver screen, the dream of every young man, the envy of every onlooker. Their roaring engines were the soundtrack of a generation, a symphony of power and performance that echoed through the years, resonating in the hearts of car enthusiasts around the world. And the legacy? Well, it's all around us. In the roar of a modern-day muscle car, in the sleek lines of a sports car, in the thrill we get from pushing the pedal to the metal. The 1950s may be a bygone era, but the spirit of its muscle cars lives on, fueling our love for speed, power, and design. These cars were the epitome of cool, the ultimate expression of freedom and power. They embodied the spirit of an era, 
reflecting the optimism and ambition that defined the 1950s. So here's to the muscle cars of the 1950s. May their engines continue to roar in our hearts and on our roads. Until next time, keep those wheels spinning and those good times rolling.